Hey y'all, uh, this is an instructional video for how we design a more simple uh, version of a paper plane and it's called the dart, all right? And so I'm making the video that you can watch and listen to. Uh, click on this picture for instructions. So I'm going to click on this picture. There we go. And how to make a paper plane. Now, the one that I'm going to show you today is the dart, but on this link, you can also see that there's the steeth, there's the bumble, there's the hunter, there's the bullnose, there's all sorts of different links uh, that you can look at. But the one I want to show you, very basic design, it's called the dart. Okay, our finished product will look something similar to the picture in six. And so what I have, I have with me a basic sheet of loose leaf paper, okay? You can tell loose leaf, if I zoom in you can see the lines, uh, but it also has the three holes. If you have loose leaf, use loose leaf. If you have a computer paper, use computer paper. But it wants to be, uh, it ought to be normal size, okay? You don't want anything too small, nothing too big, just kind of a normal a uh, sheet of computer loose leaf paper. They're typically nine by 11 and a half or nine, yeah, nine by 11 ish, okay? Uh, inches, that is. Uh, so just like normal size, okay? So when I'm looking at my fold in number one, I kind of see that. Well, it tells me fold the paper in half vertically. Vertically is a lot like what uh, we might call hot dog style. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to get my edges completely matched up, top and bottom. And then I'm going to fold as best I can, very, very straight. All right, and I'm pretty close. So after my fold, I'm just going to make a slight... Oh man, it's it's hard. It's not the easiest thing to do, but the straighter your folds are, uh, the more even and balanced your plane is going to be. So I'm trying really hard to make sure that both uh, halves of my plane are pretty much the same size. You can kind of tell in my fold that uh, it's pretty close, and you can tell in the picture, number one, that they're very close as well. So step two tells us to unfold the paper and fold each of the top corners into the center line, okay? Unfold the paper, so it's open like this again, uh, and fold each of the top corners into the center line. And so I am going to fold each of my top corners into the center line. And if you notice in the picture, uh, I wish I could zoom in a little more, uh, but you see those folds go into the line as close as you can without going over, so without any overlap. And that point is going to be very, very sharp. You want the edges of your paper to be lined up very well. And you can see that the edges are pretty close. My edges are pretty close as well. So that's a good fold. We're, we're at a great start here. All right. Uh, and number three tells us that we fold the top edges into the center line. So we fold it in to make it one triangle. Now we're folding it again to make another triangle. And so when it's talking about the edges, we're going to take that corner in picture number two, so this these corners here, and we're gonna fold them to the middle, all right? So I'm gonna take that corner and I'm going to bring it to that middle line again. And I'm going to bring it up just right to it. I don't want to go over at all. I don't want to go over. I want to go right up to the line. So I have my fold and I've done one of them. All right. I can see one of the folds in three. 
it's kind of like my fold right here. All right, and I'm gonna mirror it or match it with the other part of the paper plane. All right, so I have my two folds, and now my plane, when I lay it down, or kind of holding it up to show you guys, my plane looks very similar to my picture in number three. All right, now for four, fold the plane in half toward you, okay? So what that means for us is all this kind of open stuff, uh, we want, so see how it can kind of fold open on itself, we're closing everything. I'm gonna sandwich it, so then the parts on the outside, it's just straight. There's all these flaps are in the middle of the plane right now. All right, they are hidden. You can kind of see it in the light because it's transparent, but they're on the inside part of the plane. And so that's what I have in number four right now. Okay. In five, we're going to fold the wings down, matching the top edges up with the bottom edge of the body. Okay. And so the body is kind of like this middle part here. We're going to go over the parts of the plane very soon. Uh, but we want to fold these wings down. So then the top edges, so matching the top edges up with the bottom edge of the body. So what that means is I'm going to take these top edges here and I'm going to fold them down. So then there's no overlap. We're, we're trying really hard not to go over at all. But... I take that top edge of the wing and I bring it down to the base. My wing doesn't go any further than the bottom of the plane. And I'm going to repeat that for my other wing. And then again, I'm doing my best to make sure my wings are as balanced as possible. All right. And so I have my plane edges. The wings are folded down. Oh, this says add a double stick of tape to the inside of the body. Step six isn't required, but what step six doesn't tell you is you want to take the parts you folded down and you want to open them back up so then your plane has wings. See? And so my plane is made I have the dart, and we can use this for kind of investigating how planes fly, what are the parts of planes, and is this a design you like? If you like this design, great. If you don't like this design, try a different design. There's the step-by-step -step video on how we make the dart.